Hello everyone and welcome back to Reverse 1999. Today we are going to be continuing. <laughs> wow, rewards. Just logged into the game. Oh my goodness, everything is popping up in my face. We're going to be continuing where we left off about the storm and the arcanum. So let's go ahead and get back to the Heaven Apostles. Okay, that sounds a little creepy, not going to lie. Looks like this might be a, a pretty good one today. Still underground. Not many forks ahead. Are you getting closer to the outer wall? Yes, I heard the sounds of the street. Miss Sotheby, did you get hurt? We didn't know there were so many ambushes. No worries. You carry Freddy. Uh -uh. And uh, clean up the potion on his mouth. We Poor gathered Freddy. much intelligence this time. When we get out of here, I will write a report. Oh, and timekeeper, there is another person. I heard someone asking for help around here. Oh, yeah. There was also remnants of potion there. I want to help her get out. Can you find her position? Let me think. It should be around the wall, in front of the critter lair. At the end of this corner, turn right. <sighs> Mia Sorella, it's Schneider. Call my name. Don't you remember me? It's Schneider. Oh, and this piazza. I'll get you out right now. Hmm? Back to our citrus orchard in Sicily. <laughs> Shh, be quiet. We will be back home soon. You, you chased us here. It is you. You are abusing this girl. Evil murderer. We must stop you! You got the wrong idea, Sonetto. Don't piss me off. Sparishi. Oh! Sonetto's arcane skill rushes towards Schneider, unlike what she used to cast. This one's like a blade made of anger. <gasps> the girl falls down from Schneider's back. She opens her eyes and rushes to Verton in panic. No! no! I'm not arcanist! I'm not arcanist! I'm not arcanist! I didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> can't drink anymore. We're here to help. Stay calm, miss. She seems to have lost her mind. Despite what the others say, she keeps repeating the same incomprehensible words, hands grasping the one in front of her. Uh, let go! <sighs> Mia Sorella, don't be like this. You are safe now. What the hell did they force you to eat? Oh, mother. <gasps> You are her sister. I... She took the truth serum? I have memorized the formula. The feel and smell of the liquid could confirm it. Let her lie on her back. Right arm high. I will conduct first aid and get her to vomit up the potion. Okay. Be quick. The coming sounds of footsteps seems more and more oppressive to those who are stranded by this labyrinth. Who the heck are you? The whipping sounds of vines echoes in the corridor. It's followed by countless footsteps, which implies danger that approaches like a swarm of greedy insects. Oh, we got company. We need to get out of here fast. Schneider stands up. Stay focused. Forget the rest. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Just a little more time. She will spit it out. Ooh. Someone walks towards them leisurely out of the dark. Her arcane skill has destroyed every inch of the corridor as she approaches. Waffles, the new enemies are not something we can deal with. Everyone, I found the exit. This is where we crashed into. As long as we push out the auto island, we can escape from here. Everyone, start pushing now. We have to get out of here. As the enemy approaches from the distance, a group of men in black rush out from around the corridor. They look around, panic-stricken, and eventually their eyes fall on Schneider. Is it here? Is the exit here? Boss, what should we do? Here you are. The exit is here. Push in the car. You guys, push the hood. Keep pushing. On my mark. Ready, push. Ready, push. Strong! Uh, it's, it's not moving at all! I'm running out of 
out of strength. Oh, Mr. Apple, uh, the Heaven Apostle. Ow, please move out the way. This is very dangerous. He's going like a disco ball. Three rounds left and right. Open the wing, put on the wheel. Stay away from the car. <sighs> wow. He just blew it up. The car is blasted to the street. Get out of the hole while you can. This wall is about to collapse. Run! I can hold a little longer. Four, five, six. Quick, we're all out. Just you. Timekeeper, the wall is falling down. Sorry. Please, don't run away. Oh, it's the girl from the forest. <gasps> uh, what's your name? I forgot. <laughs> in the blink of an eye, she's now standing in front of them. Judging from her speed of approaching and the range of her arcane skill, it won't make any difference even if all of them manage to escape from the bar. Only four are left inside the wall. Sonetto is trying hard to maintain balance at the exit while carrying Marianne on her back. Timekeeper! Timekeeper! You are... Schneider, right? Did I... get away? <laughs> yes. You made it. You are free now. Go. Run freely. Leave the rest to me. Burton and Schneider gently push... Burton... Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't done reading. Burton pushes Schneider out. Oh. Did I get stuck? The next moment, the wall has collapsed, blocking the only way out. Oh. Surprisingly, there's a day to fight side by side with you, Miss Oh, Connor. so it's just us, Burton, and Schneider now. Let's see what a good match we are. We win or we die. Okay. Oh, we have Schneider now. Okay. That interesting accident will happen next. Okay, but that's- is that not the girl that we saw in the last episode, the lady in the woods? She had the bouquet and everything. Recommended? Okay, I don't care about the other girl. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, let's do... This. And this. Ooh! She is pretty strong. Hey, you will be sorry. Um, let's do this, and this, oh, and this. I believe in you. Whoops. An accident. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Brought you the armor of the forest. <gasps> yeah, that is literally the forest lady. It's alright. Is she supposed to be, like, undercover? Or is she just like, oh, where's Petrify? Oh, oh, they turned on the stone. Oh my god. I can't do anymore. But is she supposed to be like undercover or is she really a bad guy? I really don't know. Because that's obviously what like she did last time. That's a pretty cool alt too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, let's do this, this, and this. Yeah, no, that's absolutely her. Like, there's no denying it. Oh my god, Schneider. She's crazy. She is crazy, actually. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's what that meant. Um, okay, now Schneider is petrified. Oh, okay, let's, um, we'll do this. Whoops. An accident. Brought you the armor of the forest. Penetrate. You know, she's a pretty good character, actually. Um, we got two here. And we'll do this. Don't worry. Let's have a cup of tea. Why do I feel like my characters aren't as strong against her? I 
again. Oh my god, really? You're gonna petrify him right when I get the thing I needed? Okay, we'll do this and this. Almost got her. This is a really cool alt, though. <laughs> like, that's actually really cool. Girl, Schneider's almost dead. Oh, she is dead. Okay, well, Bjork Beam. I think I have her at, like, I guess the equivalent of, like, C... C2 in this game. Because I have a lot of copies of her. Alright, she should be dead this round. Turn that volume back up. Stay low profile. I... <laughs> I knew it was you. It's you. Druvis, that's what your name is. Druvis Third. Girl, why are you fighting me though? And why are you so overpowered? Uh, gunshot suddenly stops here. It'll be fired, but not now. Okay, I've got something here. Okay. Traces. Okay, looks like we're getting somewhere, finally. Uh, where do we go now? Where do I go now? This is the place? No, wait, where do I go? What am I supposed to do now? I am confused. Okay. We're getting new things, but I don't know what it is. Okay, we're in chapter two now, it looks like. Courtesy. Well, that's nice. Finally, we're getting somewhere, it seems. Tender is the night. Courtesy. Part one. Timekeeper. <sighs> we can't leave Timekeeper inside alone. If we break the wall now, we can still- No, we cannot get in touch with Vertin yet. Without her location, they may get hurt from the blast. The black smoke! Watch out! Uh, uh. Captain, we need to stay away from the wall. It's too dangerous inside. Some of us are affected by enemies in contagion. Then find the nearest window and get in. We may surround the enemy. Timekeeper must not be caught by the manus. Look, bring all your weapons. If we break out together with them. Huh? A group of masked men at the main entrance are rushing over! Oh no, they... they will see us! We should go. What? When Timekeeper is absent, Chief Assistant Sonetta will be the first in command. Ooh, dang, take Going position. Going now is like lambs to the slaughter. It will only ruin the last chance to rescue the Timekeeper. The enemy is after us. We are still in danger. It will only cost us more if we act on impulse. But... Please trust the Timekeeper. She will do her best not to put herself in danger. And the Manus will also want to know why the Timekeeper is immune to the storm. We need to make a rescue plan as soon as we are safe and get her out. Copy that. Found then! Oh, Manus Rioter? The rioters are here. Miss Sotheby, the car once hit by the Heaven Apostle. Is it still working? I have no idea. It's also my first time taking the auto island. I used to travel with Hippo Griffishiro. It still works, but the engine needs a moment. <laughs> this is all because of you! Stop! Everybody, get ready to fight. Oh. Surge Street. Okay, let's use our characters again. Please with us. I'm a sword shot. Oh, you're just gonna go for me? Okay. Easy job. I'm gonna try to turn the volume down while I fight, but okay, I guess they're just gonna do this for me. You know what? It's fine. I don't mind. I do really like that I can put it kind of like on autoplay and let it just like go. <laughs> I think that's pretty nice, to be fair. 
That reminds me of Honkai Star Rail, where like some battles I don't actually have to fight. Almost there. There we go. Oh, another round. Never mind. <laughs> Turned up my volume. But to no avail. But yeah, I think at the end of this episode, I'll show you guys, like, all the characters that I have so far. And, like, I don't know what they're called, but if I say constellations, do you guys understand what that means? Like, in Genshin? You know, like, different copies of the character. Because I have a lot of, like, C6 slash almost C6. I don't know what you're supposed to call it in this game. So if I say C6, um, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, I hope. But yeah, I'll show you guys that at the end. Because I feel like it's pretty interesting. Alright, there we go. On. We're all counting on you, buddy. Just a little bit. The engine's on. Wow. Is this also the great arcana? <gasps> Next time, please teach me how to master it. Everybody get in the car. I'm afraid the noise will get us new company. Miss Sotheby, could we stay at your house for the moment? Stay? Really? That's awesome. I always plan to invite a friend to my place. Everything is ready. Just, uh, just need a friend. Mr. Carson would certainly not agree, but I will convince him. Please believe me. Who's Mr. Carson? Everyone get on board. Don't get left behind. Miss Sotheby, please lead the way. We finally get to see her sister up close. Sure, no problem. Whoops, Miss Reeling, he stepped on my skirt. Well, I have a lot of potions hidden here. Um, if they're broken, I'm over. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Whew. Thank goodness this apple doesn't take much space. They're behind us. The rearview mirror is really something. Let's move. Everyone sit tight. Grab everything in your reach. We're rooming. These are the woods we passed before. Mr. Carson said there are many terrible things hiding here. Miss Sonato was chased by a group of ghost-like monsters. Oh, I seem to have read about them in the Guide to Monsters with Good Temper. Yes, right under this tree, after we drove away the scoundrels, Miss Sonato joined us. Mm -hmm. This is where the friendship between Sotheby and Miss Sonato begins. Am I right, Miss Sonato? Why are you blushing? Miss Sonetta? Oh. <sighs> Why are you crying? Are you crying? Oh. This goes to Timekeeper? Why is she crying? You're back, Miss Druvis. He looks at the cage made of thorns. Two people are locked inside, wordless. What you brought back is as satisfying as expected. Miss Drufus. Is that right? What do you mean by right? They are not good people, Miss Drufus. One is a traitor, and the other a bureaucrat. You've done it right for all the blinded ones. <sighs> I don't care whether they are good or not. I just want to know. Is it really the right thing to do? Ooh, she's conflicted. Of course not. Shall we meet Lady Virgin as equals at the conference table? Pretty lady. Better treatment she deserveth. Okay, you need to start confessing, like, who are these people? Like, I need to start, like, knowing what's going on. Because, like, I feel like one thing happens after another, and I'm not, like, quite understand what's happening. Like, we're kind of just, like, going all over the place, I feel like, story-wise. Okay, I don't want to see a milkman. What? Black Thursday? Are we now witnesses of history? The milkman who knew nothing about finance was laughing at the news. Ha, huh, hardly a time to lose for those Wall Street gentlemen in suits. Gotta go, John. Fine, fine. John responded with impatience and tried hard to move those heavy legs. Unlike the rich, he had to deliver the milk for them before sun rose and being late was not allowed. He dropped the newspaper and put out the cigarette. Suddenly, he frowned and stopped to ask, Did you hear that? Someone's playing a pipe. But at this time, he must be nuts. 
John, I said, stop lying. Seriously, if you're late again, they really got a reason to fire you this time. Don't worry, man. They've said that for years. People need a guy to deliver the milk anyways. There's always a job for lazy bones like us. I mean, they gotta drink milk, right? I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> okay, Magnus Vindictic. I need to know more about what's happening with Druvis, because I really don't think she's a bad person. I, I want to know more seeking about you. A chance to talk to you from an equal position. I need to know more about you. The name is Arcana. Arcana. Hello. The leader behind Manus Vindicte. Oh. Thou art acquainted with us. How wonderful. I am pleased. Lady Verton, here is an official offer that you joinest Manus Vindicte. <laughs> Miss Arcana. Bro, shut up. No one likes you. Why? Why? It's simple. I simply adore thy visage, emotionless in each storm. I adore that which shineth in gold, nestled in thy cranium. Thy flesh and blood belong unto us, if only a fraction of an ounce. She's kind of crazy, but I think I like that. Do I have the right to say no? Absolutely. As I said, we are in an equal position. I ask that thou answer three questions. Answer me, then thou shalt leave. Lest I indulge in thy suffering. Girl. <laughs> you can't. Don't waste your time. Miss Schneider. It is you who betrayed us first. Is that so, Mr. Forget-Me-Not? It seems we have never reached an agreement. After all, your promise was a lie from the very beginning, Miss Schneider. You should have known what was coming for you. <laughs> so, what are the three questions? And how do you indulge in my suffering? Content thee, my child. The answer will be revealed for both of us. She pulls out count countless black lines of slime from her temp temple? Like... Oh, <laughs> the slime turns into a wand. The first question. This? What is the ultimate purpose for the Foundation to create the storm? <gasps> what? The foundation? Isn't the storm created by you? Time is up. I was expecting a better answer. Start with her right hand. Her gesture with a gun bothereth me. Oh! Schneider! Shh. This is too much for her with a broken hand. Then, the second question. The foundation experiments on the orphans of Arcanists. Is this true? Yes. We are looking for the arcane antibody immune to the storm, and I'm the only successful subject. And the name of the antibody is? Asymmetric immune protein G. A story in an inappropriate time. People call it a lie. Thou shalt not be misled by an abominable worm, Lady Verton. All her limbs are not my next target. The last question. As the only one who bravest the storm easily, I wonder the arcanists thou hast met. I will join you. They are not very well, are they? I rarely meet them. Most of them are deserted in the mental hospital. The correctional institution, the abandoned orphanage, and the streets that no one sets foot on. We have been deserted by the principles of this world. Okay, so let me get this straight. From what this seems like, it seems that the Arcanum is actually being used by the Foundation, which we work for. We're the timekeeper of the Foundation, and they're experimenting on people of the Arcanum, and that's why they don't like us. I think I'm starting to piece stuff together. As though we were born to be so eccentric and marginalized. Thine eyes are not blinded, Lady Verton. Von Venon Heyman.
Okay, so for what I think here, the Arcanum isn't necessarily the bad guys, it looks like. They've just been practically abused. Okay, Magnus Mendicte. Magnus Mendicte is an infamous extremist organization holding a grudge against humans and contempt for mixed for the mixed. These extreme racists only recognize the bodies ruled by Arcan Arcanist blood as mankind. I'm getting so confused. Even the more I read, the more confused I get. They call themselves Magnus Mendente, and they believe that they have ability and power to change everything. They are dedicated to building a so-called proper world where Arcanus will stand neck and neck with the gods and enjoy the status they believe they deserve. In that case, humans Arcanus on the other side and those mixed who tolerate the pollution of Arcanus blood will pay a huge price for their existence. There is no doubt they are lunatic. One of the two reasons of their madness is their brains. They have a strange prefrontal cortex or some unknown neurons. The other reason is hatred. In those dark ages, Arcanists were discriminated, expelled, marginalized, and even slaughtered. The tragedies that happen every day on the fringes of society breathe their revenge and keep strengthening this army of darkness. Now that they have come onto stage, all, what they want is power, freedom, and the one and only supreme status in an overthrown world. Okay, that helps me out a little bit. So I feel like this organization definitely is not good guys, but I can understand their reasoning <laughs> to an extent. Because like it says here that they have been like discriminated and slaughtered. Because I'm assuming that they are like pure arcane. And they don't like humans and the people who are like mixed with arcane arcanist stuff. I don't know. It's it's honestly really confusing. This is the one thing that I do have to say about the story. It doesn't really make too much sense. I feel like it doesn't explain stuff enough. And it kind of just like moves on without explaining anything that's happening. But we're gonna go ahead and do this one anyway. Green oranges. Never seen one of those. Unless it's a baby, maybe. Baby fruit. <laughs> it hurts. Can you stand up, Miss Schneider? Both your right hand and left leg are injured. Arcana walks to Schneider. It's been easy. Don't touch my gun. What in roots, croaking toss, coming cure? Lady Vertin, what do you think of her pistol? A great one. Exactly. Which was improved by our finest wand maker, Druvis III. Take this. I don't need it. And end her life. <gasps> Why? I've decided to join you. The three questions are all done. It's already, already enough. Hmm. Indeed, it is a mission, a new mission showing our welcome to thee. Thou hast no right to refuse. Complying is thy only choice. But I don't want to. Yet, Lady Vartan liketh not this. Then nay it is. Have an orange. No, thank you. Orange? Why are oranges here? Storybook. You orange thief! Schneider, how did you become so young? Are we seeing her memories? Huh? Your clothes? Are you from the downtown? Ah, I see. You are the friend that Nia Sorella said helping us pick oranges. Come with me. You have to hurry up. Uncle Carnaval is going to transport the oranges to town tonight. Where? Where am I? Don't be afraid. You can touch the oranges when you climb there. I'll grab you tight. The orange tree feels so real. The warm breeze, the familiar scent. I'm here to pick oranges. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's got blood on her. My lord, it's not fair. You're shooting someone seriously injured. <gasps> Wake up. Come to your senses. Ah, thank you for wiping the mud off my face. Are you really here to help us pick oranges? You don't look very skilled. Or is all the city people like that? Who says I'm not skilled? Observe. Let me pick up that big orange at the top for you. 
Just climb up here, take a small jump, then I'll get it. Hey, I got it! Oh. So it feels like this to be shot by my own bullet. It's not over yet, my lord. Then don't blame me for giving no mercy. Your back is bloody red. Oh, don't you feel the pain? Anna, what the hell did she show you? Virgin's back. Such a huge scar on her back. How interesting. Interesting lines. The moon. The eye. What is it? See, I just feel like they keep moving on without really showing us anything. Where's our back? How did you fall from the tree? Your back is bleeding. I... I think I just saw a critter. Didn't watch my step when driving it away. Critter... Ah, I know it. That's the little animal that didn't take the ark, right? I often find them in the bushes. You often see strange creatures? Are you also an arcanist? I'm... Ah, the critters are making trouble now. Wait a minute. I will deal with them soon. Orange. Okay. I will be so shocked. I'm in the thingy. And this is an alien city. Okay, well, it's on auto again. But yeah, I just feel like if I had to give any criticism to this game, I just feel like it moves on too fast. Like, I feel like it doesn't explain as you go. Maybe when we get towards the end, the end for now, I guess. I just, I hope that it starts explaining more because I'm so confused. I really don't understand what's happening, to be honest. I have an idea, but I don't know the full story yet. Which I feel like at this point we should get to know at least some of what's happening, you know? Get those critters. Okay. More? Oh my god. Don't worry. I do like the critters. They are kind of cute, though. They're like little orange cats. Also, I really like Matilda's little, like, ults, I'm gonna call them. Okay, come on now. I really love X's alt too. <laughs> Why is there a promo gem right there? <laughs> it looks like a promo gem. Look, it looks like a promo gem from Genshin. Okay, there's one. One more. One more critter. All right, there we go. I would like to express my deepest regret for the accidents. Mm-hmm, I'm sure you would. <laughs> Here you are. It's the big orange. Thank you for helping us. Let's have it together. I want to hear the story about the world outside. In the future, will you also come to town, Schneider? No. I... Mm, I have no idea. I've never left here, but my uncles have gone to the United States many years ago. Don't do this. My family would also like to go. I heard that it's completely different from here. Enough. It's the real new world. Don't 
be ridiculous. And there are wonders. Full measure of the blessing will be given. Sins will be forgiven. The God there loves the world. Why? Hmm? Why don't you eat, Miss Fortune? It hurts. Mm, I don't feel like it. I've been wondering. Don't you think this orange tastes bitter? Why not shoot, my lord? Huh? This one last shot. Why did you stop? Why? Don't I deserve the right to die fast? Oh, did God finally forgive me? He allowed me <laughs> to stay alive. Schneider, why are you covered in blood? The pistol. No. No, no, don't come over. This is the final chance. One shall fall, one shall stand. Schneider dashes to Burton, her chest bumping into the quivering pistol. Schneider! Why? Uh, my lord. Uh, not now. I'm sorry. Oh my god, she's dead. I did not expect Oops. that. Right in the heart. Accidentally, though, our new member is quite the sharpshooter. Was she making us shoot, Schneider? Where are you going, Miss Druvis? To where I go. This body, thou hast any idea, Miss Druvis? Send her back to where she belongs, so that they know Miss Burton's choice. Never mind. I don't like her anymore. I don't like her anymore. I didn't like Schneider, to be fair, but she doesn't deserve to die like that, to be fair. But yeah, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys... Okay, I don't want to do that right now. I'm gonna show you guys my character. It's gonna make me do it. Oh my god. <laughs> don't you just love when the game makes you do tutorials? Oh my god. I don't want to do this right now. <sighs> oh my god, okay game, come on. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but I really hate when it tries to make you do stuff. When you don't want to, but what is this? What is this? Tap next to the wilderness? Okay, I don't care. I really do not care. <laughs> I really could not care less. Oh my god, do you see this? Do you guys see this? Making me do stuff that I don't want to do. Oh my god. Yeah, I still don't understand what we're doing here. Yeah, I don't understand what that is. <laughs> I don't understand what the heck this is. There's still a lot of functions. Okay, you need to quit. Is this like my house or something? <sighs> Is this supposed to be like the house? I'm trying to figure out this game, but there's just so much. Oh my god, can you stop making me have to do stuff? Okay, I don't care. I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> it's like your teapot, I guess, in Genshin. But anyway, like I was trying to show you guys, this is the characters I have. I try to keep all of the five stars slash six stars. I don't know who's a five star. Five star is baby blue. And then we have Charlie, oh, I'm five sorry. star. I'm sorry. And then you, Speak. five star. And then greetings, five star. Today your shirt matches the color of your. Not and then five fair. star. Now look out and wait. And, and five star. Visitors. Yeah, I have like C two of Bjork something. But anyway, these are all the characters I have. I have Sweetheart and X down here. I've got a lot at like C six. So we go further down, like these ones here. I honestly, I'm not really gonna use any of these characters, I don't think. I don't really like these things, whatever they are. I don't like them, so I'm not really gonna use them. Maybe we'll use these characters, but I really like the five stars and the six stars that you get, like when you do summons. So yeah, that is what my team looks like right now. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Once again, I just feel like 
there's just not enough information about what's going on. I feel like they cut too much important detail out and just doesn't- they don't- just don't give us enough, you know? I just feel like I'm always left wondering, like, what did I just watch? So anyway, <laughs> let me know what you guys think so far about this game down below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!